Today, we're going to be talking about positive psychology. Now, when most people think about psychology, they imagine therapy, mental illness, or fixing problems. Positive psychology takes a different angle. It's the scientific study of what makes life worth living. Instead of only asking, how do we fix what's broken? Positive psychology asks, how do we build on what's strong? Positive psychology focuses on things like happiness, gratitude, resilience, optimism, and human strengths. It was launched as a movement in the late 1990s by Martin Seligman, who wanted psychology to also study flourishing, not just hang out in the world of suffering. Think of it as exploring the habits and mindsets that help people thrive, not just survive. One famous study in this field looked at the Gratitude Journal. Participants who wrote down three good things each day for a week reported being happier and less depressed, even months later. Another study explored flow, that feeling of being totally absorbed in one's activity you love, like playing music or sports. Researchers found that people who experience flow regularly tend to have higher life satisfaction. So why is positive psychology important? Because it helps us see that mental health isn't just the absence of illness. It's also about the presence of well-being. By studying gratitude, strengths, and positive emotions, psychologists can teach skills that make people more resilient, improve relationships, and even boost performance in school and work. In other words, positive psychology helps us build a life that feels meaningful and fulfilling.